A lot of work to do. Remember, we're still looking for the computer and robocrook. Now, fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just provided us with a recording of a phone conversation between Robo and Carmen Sandiego. Watch. Robo, those Acme agents are on to you. Head for a large industrial center in Europe. An industrial center? Thank you, Carmen. Perhaps I can make friends with the machinery. No social call, Solderhead. Just hide out. It's a river valley north of Cologne. Location acknowledged. Permission requested to seek a humanoid chess partner. You can try, but a traditional hobby there is pigeon racing. Thousands of people do it. There's even a special pigeon hospital in the city of Essen. Now get moving. Okay, Gumshoes, name the European River Valley. Is it the Po, the Moselle, or the Ruhr? All right, remember the clues that we heard? Large industrial center north of Cologne and city of Essen. April's ready, so is Emil, so is Chad. April, what do you say? I chose the Ruhr. The Ruhr. What do you think, Emil? I chose the Ruhr. The Ruhr. What do you think, Chad? I chose the Ruhr. The Ruhr. The answer we're looking for is the Ruhr. Nice job, guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that means April, you have 75. Emil, you have 70. Chad, you have 80. This is still anybody's case, so... Wait a minute. Do you guys hear that, hear that sound? Let's find out what this is. Oh, cool. Craig Harris, everybody, come on. Yeah. That was cool, man. That was really cool. Well, you know, Craig, that was cool, but we still need a clue is the only thing. I don't know, maybe the chief can help us. Hey, chief, you there? Yeah, I'm here, Greg. We still need a clue. Well, Greg, you were listening to a didgeridoo. It's an instrument of the Aborigine people. Now, they've been living on an island continent for about 40,000 years. And it's said that the sound of the didgeridoo calls out the ancestral spirits. Uh, but it's also a clue to finding Robo Crook. Now, search the capital city of Australia. Okay. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay. Hey, let's hear it one more time for Craig, you guys. Thanks, Craig. See ya. Yeah, I like that. That was cool. All right, Gum says, you, you heard her then. Uh, let's name the city. Is it Sydney, Melbourne, or Canberra? Remember the clues that we heard? Did you redo instrument of the, of the Aborigine people, capital city of Australia? Everybody's got an answer. April, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Canberra. Canberra. Uh, Canberra. What do you think, Emil? I chose Canberra. Canberra. Ch Chad, what do you think? I chose Sydney. Sydney. The answer we're looking for is Canberra. Nice job, April and Emil. Okay. So that means, April, you have 85. Emil, you have 80. Chad, you have 80. Come to look, I know we're still hot on the trail of Robo Crook and the computer. The thing is, though... Hot on the trail? That's Puppy Cook! It's my upstairs neighbor, Mrs. Pumpkin Clanger. Be back in a minute. Hey, Miss P. You wouldn't know a hot trail if it jumped up and burned you. Robo Crooks in the Republic of Azerbaijan. Such a famous resort city on the Caspian Sea. It's the birthplace of Kasparov, the world chess champion. Oh, I do love Gary's endgame. <laughs> now go, Ro Robo! Oh. Okay, okay. Huh. Gee, I always thought it was me she loved. Okay, guys, name the city. Is it Baku, Odessa, or Yalta? Remember the clues that we heard? Republic of Azerbaijan, famous resort city on the Caspian Sea, and birthplace of chess cha champion Kasparov. April's ready, so is Chad. Emil, waiting on you, pal. He's got an answer. Okay, April, what do you say? I chose Baku. Baku, what do you think, Emil? I chose Baku. Baku, Chad. I chose Baku. Baku, the answer we're looking for is Baku. Nice job, guys. Okay.
So this means April, you have 95, Amelia, you have 90, Chad, you have 90. It's now time for the final clue of this round, which means now you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll subtract it from your score, okay? Now, uh, look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think uh, RoboCrook is headed. If you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. Now, you can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks, okay? So, take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, everybody made a decision. Now for our last clue, we turn to somebody who has just finished dancing on Madonna's latest video. Take it away, man a rap. <laughs> You're such a nice young man. I'd be happy to do some chill slamming and jamming for you. Hit it. From March to October, the brave matadors reign in this fabulous city that you'll find in Spain. For Spanish master paintings, one place has a lock. It's to the Prado Museum that the art lovers flock. Now, if you're feeling hungry, want a nibble to eat, try small dishes called tapas, and you're in for a treat. From the mushrooms in oil to baby eels that they fry. Those tapas foods are deaf, and the city is fly. You got the nana. <laughs> you got the nana. Let's hear from nana. Come on, nana. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I love her. I love her. I absolutely love her. Okay, guys, name the city. Is it Madrid, Barcelona, or Seville? Remember the clues that we heard? Matadors, Prado Museum, and Tapas Foods. Okay, come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Lay those answers right there in front of you. Lay right down there, Emil. April, lay it down, and Chad, lay it down in front of you there, pal. Okay, we're going to start with you, Chad. You have 90 crime bucks. Before you show me how much, uh, what your answer was, let's find out how much you risk. I risk zero. Zero. So, okay, right or wrong, you get 90. What'd you say? Uh, I said Madrid. Madrid is right. Nice job. You say at 90, okay? <laughs> Emil, you also have 90. How much did you risk? I risked 30. 30, okay? This will definitely put you in the lead if you're right. What'd you say? I said Madrid. Madrid's right. Nice job, pal. Okay. April, you have 95. How much did you risk? I risked 10. You risked 10. That means if you're right, then you and Emil will go on to the next round. What'd you say? I said Barcelona. Oh, Barcelona. That means you go down to 85. That means Emil and Chad, you go on to the next round. Nice job, guys. Okay. April, listen, you were a great detective. You did some great stuff today. And uh, we've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. It's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit, and it includes a World Traveler's Atlas, an official Carmen watch, a Carmen sweatshirt, and a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine. And our thanks for all your good work on this case. And April, I salute you. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, listen, it's time now for you to go to Madrid. You're going to try to track down Robo and the computer. What your job is, is to find them and bring them back here. But I want you to know, we do not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? All right. Here's the story on Madrid, one of the highest capital cities in Europe. It's located in the center of Spain, and distances throughout the country are measured from the zero-kilometer marker by the Puerto del Sol. It's a major manufacturing center, also famous for its all-night nightlife. And locals are called Madrileños. Now, the boys down at Photo Recon have put together a few slides. The Royal Palace, built in the 18th century. It's known for its lavish interiors and gardens. Now, the royal family actually lives outside of town, and the palace is used for official functions only. Prado Museum. Velázquez's Surrender of Breda is seen here. It's one of the more than 5,000 paintings in the collection. Now case the joint, because Robo probably has. Madrid has thousands of restaurants. An exhaustive search may be necessary, but don't worry. Most serve tapas snacks long into the night. Now take note of the tile work here. It's typically Spanish. San Isidro Festival. Now, spring celebration of the city's patron saint. Bullfights are held several times daily during the festival. 
Those golden doughy things are churros. Breakfast in Madrid. The Tiro Park. 353 acres of greenery and water. It borders Madrid's ritziest neighborhood. Now, it's a dumb place to hide a big computer, but, well, Robo Crooks got the brains of a Buick, so search the area. Well, that's Madrid, Spain, and gumshoes, it's time to head out into the field now. So always remember, begin the crime net countdown. Five are the senses you need, four putting crooks on the run, three rounds to fight against greed, two be sure justice has won. Go get them, gumshoes! Yeah.